I'm Mary Grace and these are your daily announcements. Club picture day is tomorrow. You need to have a paper pass that you get from your club advisor or you will not be able to be in the club photo. Wonderful day Wildcats. Today we are honoring Brody Derrick, a student who would have been joining our family this year. Brody was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia in November 2018 and passed away during his sixth grade year at Pleasant Hill Middle School. Brody would have been a freshman this year at Lexington High School. Join us in honoring his life and all of the other cancer warriors in our community this week. I'm wearing orange tomorrow to support uh, pediatric cancer um, for Brody. I've known Brody since kindergarten. Um, we would always hang out at recess and he was just really outgoing. My name is Preston Morris and I'm going to be wearing orange for Brody Derrick for his cancer. He's a pretty good guy. So I'm going to wear orange for him when I snow around school. Model UN will be selling Chick-fil-A biscuits tomorrow before school for $3. Biscuits will be sold at the front entrance and in the bus loop. After two years, Harry Styles has finally started performing again. Throughout his Love on Tour tour, Styles has sold out all five of his shows at Madison Square Garden, whose seating capacity is 20000 because of this, Harry Styles has been awarded the Golden Ticket Award, meaning he has brought in 100,000 ticket sales, equaling millions of dollars to the venue. Styles is the first artist in the 21st century to be presented this award. Some recipients of this award include Billy Joel, Fleetwood Mac, Queen, Kiss, and David Bowie. If Styles wants to really shoot for the stars, he can sell an additional 150,000 tickets to receive the Platinum Ticket Award, along with the Rolling Stones, Elton John, Yes, Billy Joel, and the Grateful Dead. Considering Harry is the first person in the past 27 years to receive this award, this is pretty impressive. SIA are selling luminaries for $5 and links for $1 during All in Powers. All proceeds will go to Cancer of Many Colors. On Sunday, October 24th, Tom Brady became the first quarterback to reach 600 career touchdown passes. In 2018, he became one of the four quarterbacks to reach 500, but now he has reached 600. This truly shows how elite of a quarterback he is. The pass was caught by Mike Evans, who did not realize the significance of the ball, so he gave it to a fan in the stands. Once this was realized, the staff dispersed into the stands to find the ball. The fan complied and received a $1,000 gift card to the Buccaneers team store, as well as season tickets for this season and next season. It is lucky that he agreed because that ball would have fetched a high bid if he had sold it, and it is likely Brady would not have gotten it back. If you are interested in joining the wrestling team, go to the wrestling room at 4 o'clock on Monday. There are no tryouts and all are welcome. The JROTC competed in a physical fitness competition in Goose Creek. Here's Braden Hurd to talk about how the Raider team competition went. The hardest part about the competition, it was probably, for us, it was the endurance because we had some people on the team who couldn't keep up as well as others, but they pushed themselves to their like breaking point almost, and I'm proud of them for that. My favorite part was probably uh, just seeing my whole team finish 5K together. It was very good for me to see that my team could keep up with the other teams or in their competition. The LHS Theater Department will be putting on the production of Legally Blonde the Musical. The shows will be November 9th through the 12th. You can purchase tickets online at showticksforyou.com with the search word LHS Theater, or you can buy tickets at the door. Just yesterday, Pixar announced a brand new theatrical release for summer of 2022. Lightyear, an origin story for Buzz Lightyear from the Toy Story franchise, will follow him in whatever adventure made him famous enough to get a toy based off of him. Buzz will be voiced by Chris Evans, who you probably know from voicing a very famous Marvel character, Johnny Storm, or the Human Torch in the 2005 Fantastic Four movie, or maybe one of his more obscure roles, like Captain America. The trailer shows off Buzz going into space and eventually donning his famous suit that you know from the Toy Story franchise. Be ready to see Lightyear in theaters, summer of 2022. To infinity. And... This is the last day to participate in the pumpkin painting for Cancer of Many Colors. The Atlanta Braves are headed to their first World Series since 1999 thanks to left fielder Eddie Rosario, making history in this year's NLCS versus the Dodgers. Rosario won the NLCS MVP after having a postseason series record of 14 hits with 9 runs coming from them. Rosario finished the series with a batting average of 560 and also racked up multiple 4-hit games. 
He was literally unstoppable according to Dodgers manager Dave Roberts as he stated, we just couldn't figure him out. We just didn't have an answer for him. Rosario's go-ahead three-run homer in game six was enough to keep the Braves ahead for the remainder of the game and push them to the World Series. Hopefully the Braves and Eddie Rosario can keep up this hot streak and beat the Astros to win the World Series. Remember that tomorrow is the last day of Lincoln Lexington week. Make sure to wear neon to school tomorrow to honor all cancers. That's it for today. Have a spectacular day, Wildcats.